guys, Orin Tech here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be showing you how to install Safari on your Chromebook, so I hope you enjoy. If you haven't already, make sure to smash the subscribe button with notifications on. That would really help me out. You're probably wondering, why should I subscribe with notifications on? Well, it's because I upload daily tech and Chromebook content. Bruh. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Just like this for you guys, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright guys, so I'm on my Chromebook. First thing we want to do is have Linux mode enabled. Links in the description below on how to do that. After you have Linux mode enabled, go to this website, which is also in the link in the description below. Then go to the bottom left hand corner of your screen, click that, go up, scroll down to Linux apps and open the terminal. Copy and paste number one through number nine in order. Make sure you copy and paste all of it so you don't get a wrong answer. Make sure you get every bit of it just to make sure you don't have any issues. Do control C, control shift V, and then do enter. Because some people do control V and it doesn't work, it's control shift V, then click enter. Do the second one, control C, control shift V. Control shift V, click enter. Number four, control C, control shift V. And then do number five. This is an important step that you need to follow. Only do sudo nano etc app sources list. Do not do the rest of this or you will mess up. Do control C and then do control shift V. Click enter, navigate to the bottom with the arrow keys and then copy and paste when it starts with Deb and the rest. Make sure you copy and paste all of this that's shown on screen. Control C, Control Shift V. Then do Control X, then do Y, and then click Enter. Then do the six code, Control C, Control Shift V. Then do the seventh code, Control C, and then wait for this to be done and do Control Shift V. Click Enter. Do number eight, which is the most important step, Control C. And then once this is done, do control shift V, click enter. And then once that's done, do number nine, control C, control shift V. Then click enter and then just wait for it to be done. All right, guys, so once this pops up on your screen, just click install on that little install button. And then it might ask you to do it over and over again, maybe the maximum of five times. Just keep clicking install and then it will eventually will work. Alright guys, so it's going to ask me to do it again. Just click install again and keep doing it until it's done. Alright guys, so it's going to ask me to do it again. This is the third time. Just keep clicking install and then it will eventually work, I promise. It just takes a couple of times to install everything it needs to install. Alright guys, so once you're at this screen, it means you're done. Just change the Windows version to Windows 10 or Windows 7, whichever one you want to use. I would recommend Windows 7 because it works best. Then just click apply and then click OK, and then go ahead and close this, and then go to this website, which is also in the link in the description below, and then click Download Now. Now we'll download Safari for Windows, which we're gonna use to install on here. Once it just starts downloading, it will say Now Downloading. There, now you have a Safari file in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Wait for that to be done installing, and then we can continue. All right, guys, so once it's done, just go ahead and click Show in Folder, and then grab your folder from whatever monitor you have. In my case, I have two monitors, so I'm just going to grab it from my other monitor. And then see this file, go ahead and drag it to your Linux apps. Drag it in there, and then wait for it to say it's copied to Linux files. Go in there and make sure it's in there right there. Then go ahead and close your files. Go to the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, click that, go up, scroll down to Linux apps and open the terminal. Then what you want to do is wine safari setup.exe. And then now it will find the file. Before there, I accidentally put it in wrong. It's not startup, it's setup. Just make sure you read it. It really helps out for me, like answering your guys' questions. And see, there's a little loading symbol right there. It means it's installing. And it found the file. And now it says, welcome to Safari Installer. Just click next. And then you want to go ahead and click 
I agree. And then click next. Then click next. And then click install. Five minutes later. All right, guys. So once it's done, just click finish right there. And then it's done. You can just go ahead and launch Safari. Once all this code is done, and it will automatically launch Safari on your Chromebook. You have Safari right here. You can start web browsing. You can search what forever you want to search up. And yeah, guys, this is how you get Safari on a Chromebook. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, never miss an upload. Also, subscribe for a shout out. Comment down below, subscribe to get a shout out in my next video. Here are the shouts for this video on the screen right now. Go subscribe to them. Subscribe to me. One of these shouts for you guys. We have a special shout out today, which is Aspect Snow. He's boosted our Discord server for us, which is really amazing. So I want to give him a big shout out. Go subscribe to his channel. He only has like 100 subscribers or something. Help him get to 200, maybe even a thousand. So make sure to go subscribe to his channel, smash the subscribe button, and enjoy Safari on your Chromebook. And it's Oran Tech signing out.